everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Justin, and we are Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats, formerly from California, and now living full-time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. And if you haven't guessed from the scenery, <laughs> we are at the Scalia train station. Yes. And we are on our Italian train adventure. We're off to Milan, seven and a half hour train ride. Come along with us and have fun. And we're toting along two of our little doggies. But before we get too much further in this video, you guys, a uh, quick little reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's the easiest way to help this channel grow. So thank you so much. We appreciate it, those comments. We appreciate also, love reading them all. And please hit like and share with yes. your friends. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Most importantly, yes, please hit subscribe. It's free and it helps us tremendously on YouTube. It is a very hot day. It's, it's a hot station. one. We're cooking. <laughs> and thank you, John and Michelle. Hey, Michelle. John's <laughs> adjusting the car. They kindly <laughs> dropped us off with all of our luggage. And as mentioned, Cupid and Zena are going with. And our darling friend Myra let us borrow these awesome little backpacks. I've got mine on with Cupid already. So freeze up hands, and Michael and I will each have a little doggy on our backpack, dog carrier, and Michael's got his walker, of course, and I have our carry-on. So quite the adventure with luggage alone, and these first time with the doggy backpacks. Thank yes. you, Myra, for letting us borrow them. We're gonna yes, order yes. order some as soon as we get back, because wow, I was worried how to carry two dog bags, food bag, yeah. luggage, my little bag here and Michael's walker and everything I was and like me. <laughs> I was like I need to be an octopus to do all this but <laughs> we'll figure it out but luckily John and Michelle kindly offered to help us with all the luggage and get us on the train and we will see the fun we have getting everything on <laughs> I don't know if I could film because it'll be such a rush, but uh, we'll film what I can and as soon as we're on the train, we'll share our fun adventure with you. We've had a lot of people ask for trains, yes. so here you go. If you've asked, you get to do an Italian train Yay. adventure with us. Long one too, seven and a half hour train ride. Yeah. So thank you. Please come along and have fun. Hot and sweaty with your little fan. Hey, Maggie. But yeah, considering these are little glass coverings, they do get quite warm in the sun. It's like being in a greenhouse. It is. But these are little awesome backpack bags. If you haven't found them yet for carrying your pets on trains and planes, they are amazing. I'm such a big fan now. Can't say enough good things. Zena's chilling out in the shade. Of course, keep it on my back. Zena will be on Mikey's right before. Choo choo comes. <laughs> so, and there we're doing our train station here in Scalia, so it's getting a whole new rendering and everything. That should be very nice. I see John coming forward. He just moved the car kindly. So, quite a beautiful summer day in July. And I'm so glad I'm not driving. So, we don't have a lot of experience doing the trains. Michael and I have only done a few since we drive. But when we first moved here, we did display to Salerno and to Palo and stuff. So but this is by far our longest train ride we've ever done. Happy to do it? No, but should I? Because it's smart, probably. Pretty cool, eh, Mikey? Thank you, John and Michelle, for all your help this morning. And our train is next. This is a regional. We're waiting for our best train to Milan. Here she comes. Behind the yellow. Now the fun part, finding carriage number eight. <laughs> they don't know they're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And then Mikey we found our seats. 10A and 9, but we were told when we booked, we went to a place to have assistance um, for Michael's disability situation. We were told we had an open seat next to him for his walker, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's supposed to be an uh, open spot for wheelchair and walker, but we'll see. Dogs are calm, got a little table here. And of course, when somebody sits next to us, I'll adjust the doggies accordingly. But the good thing is, um, you know, the funny thing when you're getting on a train is most of the time your carriage will be somewhere completely 
exactly opposite of where you're standing. Oh, did we have our carriage literally pulled up right to us? Yeah, we randomly were position. just parking it in one spot with benches and number eight, boom, Perfect right place. in front of us. It was meant to be, so we didn't have that stress of running down the track yes. for a long train. So looking forward to it. <laughs> we'll share the adventure along the seven and eight. Half hour journey. But don't worry, you're not gonna have to watch that long. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fun part. And here we go. Goodbye, Scalab. <laughs> Get a nice view along the tracks. <laughs> amazing. Loving the sight of the train with the coast. A beautiful day. It's cool to see everything from train point of view. And we are stopped in the Sapri station and little trivia. This was the station actually used in the James Bond No Time to Die film. They changed the name to a fictitious name, but this is the actual station they used for filming. And we know that because they also used part of the coastal road. So they did a lot of filming over here for the part of Italy they chose. You having fun, Mikey? I am. We were just commenting on how relaxing it is. There's little toilets and stuff, so it's uh, far easier than taking the car for such a long distance. Because that would be like its own adventure. <laughs> But we're having fun. We haven't even gotten to our snack and food. And it's, it's been a pleasure so far. So we're only in Sapri, but many, many hours to go. And the train right now is not too filled in. We're lucky next to us, though. But of course, the doggies will probably have to move as soon as people fill the seats. And then we'll have fun with that as it comes, eh, Maggie? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful scenery. Can't beat it, eh, Mikey? We're still on the coast here, and it's just beautiful north of uh, Sapri. So. Beautiful Campania region. there's a bathroom at this one. Not every train station has bathrooms. The one in Scalaya 
Well, I think sample. they're redoing ours. They're ours redoing getting... one, but at this current moment in time, they don't have one. Yeah, so, so yeah. always just go somewhere make else. Make sure. <laughs> go before you arrive just to be safe, right? And on the trains, of course, there are water closets. We've not, either of us have used one yet, so don't know how to report that to you. Yeah. So, and um, also, if you wonder, we are in standard class. Uh, we went to someone to help us book at a ticket place. We could have booked online, but someone um, advised us uh, to go for disability assistance, which kind of didn't work out, did it, Mike? No, no. We were no. expecting from a map we saw when we sat down with the gentleman, he showed us a disability seating, which I don't think happened, even though not the same seats we saw on the map. So but we'll it's all to, good. Yeah, we'll have to investigate that for further times. And also, we would have had no objection to doing like a business class, yeah. um, a little more room and everything too. So uh, sitting down with the gentleman, maybe communication error um, there. A little problem we didn't exactly get what we thought we got. So live and learn. But as Michael said, he's fine with the standard seat. Has a little table. And this is standard. It's standard seat so that. So the walker actually fit the overhead bin. Luckily, that's a smaller walker than the bigger one, or we would have had a little trouble because the seating we thought we got had an open space reserved for walkers and strollers and things like that. So there's supposed to be no chair next to Michael. Faux pas there. Thank God there is because the scene is yeah, in the chair right now. now. And like I said, Michael told me not to worry about it until I have to. I assume eventually our seats next to us will be taken and we will contend with that issue when it happens. And with the same app, watch it happen now. <laughs> but hopefully we're finger crossed that that's farther along the journey. Give us more time. And by the way, Cupid is just a little angel in his little cart. He just loves it. He's having fun. Zena's just calmed down with Michael's hand in there. And once again, big fan of these backpack carriers. We're going to be purchasing our own from Amazon or something. Yeah. <laughs> we'll locate them when we get home. And so kind of my red I'm going to see these. Yes, thank you, Mara. Yes, it would have been so hard with regular handheld ones. And a lot of people are getting in on this stop. So I will show you the fun they have. Next stop was Salerno. We absolutely love Salerno. If you've not yet been, of course, we didn't stop here ourselves, but please make it on your list to visit Salerno. We've done videos in the past. Absolutely gorgeous town. Lots to do. And I see Naples. We are in the suburbs. Big, big bustling city that it is. Probably going to be a big destination for a lot getting on and off, right, Mikey? I think so. <laughs> We've had our little snacks to keep us yes. from that traveling hunger that you get just sitting. So, putting our cute little mini tea I got at the Euro's Den. It's just the cutest little thing. Yeah, it's like when you travel by train, it's like little kid lunch packages <laughs> and, and snackies. So, Mikey likes his snackies, so I've got cookies for him and candies. All sorts of treats and, and a little slice of uh, pizza that we got at the Pastateria shop by the train. Very good. There you go. Enjoying ourselves. Doggies are just sleeping right now, so it's just lovely to look at the scenery. Many hours to go. 
So in um, response to that um, individual who thought that we should have named our channel Mancha Italia, <laughs> I kind of think maybe we should have because even when we're not eating, we're thinking about eating. Oops. So I am just going to say the trains are great in the way that they get you where you need to go, you know, but they are so not fun to be on. <laughs> Well, um, we both get cooped up, I think. So. Yes, it's, but I mean, the views are gorgeous looking out the window and stuff. It's but better than an airplane, yeah. don't you agree? Yes, it is. They get you where you need to be, but I'd just rather be where we need to be. <laughs> well, you have a comfy chair. You know, you have your cell phone with data. Whoever says that toilet. the journey is more important than the destination, that's not true. I know, but it is pretty. <laughs> When you're driving though, to be fair, it's, you don't get to see the scenery. So this is new for me. So, you know, we've only got, what, um, four more hours? Yeah, and, and it, by the way, it is closer to eight hours. I was calling it seven and a half hour, but it's a ten minute shy of an eight hour journey. So hey, it's a whole day. Yeah. It is what it is. It is. Uh, there are Aperols somewhere in Milan that are calling our name. <laughs> we, will, we will find them. We'll find them. <laughs> Eventually. Meanwhile, bottled water. We did have our little tasting. We were just saying though, I caught it. They have those little juice boxes that have wine in them. <laughs> so they, I was like, hmm, that's what they're for. So next time. Yes. The little wine box. <laughs> the mini wine box juice. <laughs> I understand the yeah. name now. <laughs> they, do have, they have things down the train for sale, like if you want, but you can just bring your own. It's so much easier. Yeah. And whatever you'd like for Michael's, totally Jones and for some um, coffee, right? Yes. And I don't want to get it on here because it's probably like. Oh, I would never drink. Yeah, coffee scary on the water, train, just like on the airplane. Ugh. Water from a tank. I no, do thank you. Want coffee? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll wait for the good stuff. We'll hold there you out. Go. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Mm, dinner so, sounds so good, doesn't yes. it? Well, anything other than the train, that sounds good. Well, after we check in the hotel and everything, we have the night ahead. Yes. So there's a reason why we're going to Milan. It's oh. not just for the great <laughs> shopping and the apples. Yes. That's the fun part. But actually, I got very fortunate because um, I have my specialist. You know, I have a very rare condition. So one in a hundred thousand people get it. So um, I had in Los Angeles at UCLA, I had like a world-renowned specialist clinic for my um, um, interstitial lung disease and polymyositis. So the tops, tops, tops. So I was worried when I did move to Italy that I would be partying far away from that care. But my doctors do see me on video calls and check in. I just had one with UCLA and it so happens that my specialist has a friend, a personal friend in Milan who is also a world-renowned specialist of my type of condition. So yay, guess who gets to get to see that specialist? Me, I feel so fortunate. She got me in and covered with my Italian um, um, the health system, it actually is covered, so that's wonderful because my doctor is in that system, so she set up for me to come see her, so to, this will be my first appointment, and it's well worth the journey, yes. and because we get to sightsee and such, and in the future, I don't know, maybe every six months, I'm guessing, I might come back to see her, so next time we can hit uh, Lake Como or something while we're up here as well, so it's a good excuse. Italy, as I said, is about the size of pretty much Arizona in, uh, you know, in America, so there's no reason not to travel to all of Italy, and this is a good excuse to get to do it, and for good reason too, so I look forward to seeing my world-renowned specialist on my condition. Can't go wrong there, having one right here in Italy is amazing, having it as a personal friend of my specialist in UCLA is an amazing coincidence, so I'm so happy for that, I feel very fortunate. Just arriving to the main station in Rome, admiring all the beautiful graffiti. So. Hey, it's an Italian word graffiti, right? <laughs> Street art, we'll pull out, they call it. <laughs> it's fun to get to watch the world go by. Yes. Still, trains are not my bag, but I like it better than flying any day. Yes.
huge. Lots of stuff, lots of restaurants and shops. Looks like an airport. <laughs> from yes. the train ride. Right when we got right off the train, we were like, we're hungry, First so restaurant, start off Milan Michael with Michael needed a beer, and he got a, what is that, a pulled pork sandwich? Yes. And I got french fries and a brisket sandwich, and we each got a beer. Because are, after doing eight hours on a train, it is needed. Real hot food, yes. Roadhouse Grill, and enjoy. Just like that, we're at Milan. We've made it to Milan, the central station, and it's Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Happy we're here. Long journey, about eight hours. Let's find an apple spread. Yes, yes. Obviously, this video is all about the train ride, and stay tuned because next week we're going to take you with us as we have two days in the lot. So we're going to say the same thing we always do, you guys. Bachi, bachi, bachi. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Look forward to seeing you next time. Ciao. Hey there, everyone. Please be sure to check out our merchandise, now available and in a lot of new styles. Please go to www.prego-italia.com and click the merchandise link. Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There will be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Baci, baci. Baci.